There are many substantial improvements to code editing tools in Maple 2018 that make it easier to write, debug, and maintain your code. Let's start by talking about code edit regions. Code edit regions can be used to incorporate blocks of code inside your document, similar to what we see here. In Maple 2018, code edit regions automatically display command completion lists. So if we were to start typing in something like linear algebra, we see a command completion right underneath that term. I can press tab in order to complete that, and we'll do this for a full command here, so linear algebra random matrix. And this makes it easier to enter the function names, as well as eliminating problems due to things like misspelled names. Some other changes for codeedit regions includes that the codeedit region automatically now fits the entire size of the window and resizes itself as needed. And lastly, keyboard navigation is now available for going into and out of the codeedit region. This means you no longer have to use the mouse. So next, let's talk about the Maple Code Editor. The Maple Code Editor is used in the startup code region, as well as to define the behavior of interactive embedded components, such as buttons and sliders. What's new for Maple 2018 is that the Code Editor now also incorporates the code analysis tool, Maple Mint, directly inside of the editor. This means that you can automatically provide information about programming issues that go beyond syntax errors. They give you things like parameter naming conflicts, unreachable code, unused parameters, or variables and more. And we can see here's a very quick example of this. We've got a couple of lines of code entered into a startup code region, and we're getting information back about various issues contained on these lines. So similar to the code editor region, command completion is now available automatically within the code editor. It's uh, displayed for you, it makes it faster to enter in function names, and of course it eliminates those problems due to misspelled names. There's also a new console window inside of the code editor that lets you edit code directly and see the results. So let's see that in action. Let's open up the code editor. I'm just going to click the button up here. And here I've got a similar procedure here. This is just a procedure F, and we return x squared of our argument. So let's just add in here F of 2. And then we'll run this using this single exclamation point here. In our console, we see that the value of F2 is going to be 4. So it's kind of a way of very quickly capturing what a procedure or what some code in your startup region would be returning to your Maple worksheet. So what's more, you can also see that errors are marked in line. Uh, with this one actually just telling us where our cursor position is, but if there was an error contained on these lines, you would see a red line beside that error. Uh, what's more, there's also automatic text wrapping, which will help to improve the readability of your code. So let's continue talking coding in Maple. And now we're going to talk about a couple tools that have been around Maple for a long time, but we've really worked on improving for this Maple 2018 release. And this includes things like the code analysis tool Mint, which typically works on text files, and Maple Mint, which has been used to uh, analyze code inside of Maple. So both of these features have been improved and have actually been consolidated to use one code base. So what both Mint and Maple Mint do is they generate static analysis information for procedures. And this gives information on things like parameter naming conflicts, unreachable code, unused parameters or variables, and more. So here we have a procedure that we've declared in our Maple worksheet. And if we run Maple Mint on this procedure, we see from Maple Mint, these are the issues that we would have. So here we have, say, that these names were used as global names but not declared. This is unreachable code following a break statement. So this is the type of thing you can expect to get back from, from Maple Mint instead of Maple. So something else we can do in Maple 2018 is with the implementation of the external mint.exe tool being merged together with Maple Mint, uh, this means we can do a lot more. Uh, as a result, things like Maple Mint can now work on modules and it can report a wider class of warnings. An external tool Mint uh, now supports the following new warnings. So here we see we have a module declared inside of Maple, and then we receive back some nested procedure calls, global variables being declared, uh, local variables used before they were assigned a value, and ineffectual calls within uh, parentheses inside of proc at statement 1. So there's a, a number of different functionalities that have been added in to help make your work with uh, coding inside of Maple that much easier in Maple 2018.